What is up everyone? Welcome to another video on my channel to to hi. Today we have a brand new video named Don't buy this before watching. Or don't don't Today we have a brand new video named Don't buy before watching this. So what is it about? This is about the books that you may want to buy in the future but you're not sure whether to buy it or not. So I'm going to review these books for you talking about some topics like the details or ratings of the books, who you should buy this book for, what have I learned from this book, and give my ratings to the book. Okay, the first part is about the details of the book. Okay, before we moving further ahead, I should remind you that you like, share, and subscribe my video if you like it to your friends and blah 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 so today's book that i'm going to review is this one maybe you should talk okay my focus is on manual so i'm not gonna bring it forward because it's not gonna focus on it it's gonna focus on here because it's manually focused here anyway today's book is maybe you should talk to someone from Lori gottlieb i think gottlieb uh, the ratings were good 4.3 out of 5 from Goodreads. So this book is 415 pages. It's not short, but it's not quite long. It's medium. I consider it a medium book. And if you look at the contents, uh, the page of the contents of the book, you see there are some names. These names are based on the events that actually that are actually happening on each chapter so don't confuse when you're in a store watching the contents list okay what's my feeling about this book you know it was so compelling at first because i bought this book with this book elon musk's book and you know elon musk is my hero in life but i preferred to read this book at first but you know i'm that type of person who keeps the best thing for the last so you know what i'm talking about until half of the book, it was so compelling. I was trying hard to just read to understand what's happening next. But after that, I found out that nothing special is going to happen in the story of the book because I was looking for some twist or something like this. They told me you killed him. No, I am the father. But I found out that the story was typical, totally typical. And eventually it lost its attraction to me so it's like when you meet your dream girl for the first time and then you find that there's not something special about this girl it's just you know it's just attractive for the first time so the flow of the book is like this compelling at first but boring at the end this is personal opinion okay next section what have I learned from this book to be honest nothing that specific you know as you can see on the cover of the page it says a therapist her therapist and our lives revealed well it doesn't sound good to me it's so disoriented but you know to be honest i mean this book is not a self-help book you're not gonna it's not gonna give you tips and tricks in life it's just the story of people their marriages their uh, lives their you know what are they afraid of and something like this it's just a typical story of people in my case i learned about people's psychology and behaviors when you read this book you kind of get familiar how troubled people behave and how you should behave toward them they're also going to help you to focus more on your emotional intelligence and to improve it and to kind of understand how you behave toward other people okay let me give you a tip there are some psychological terms in this book that you can brag about them when you're talking with your friends or families you can for example there is a term idiot compassion it's when you uh, don't criticize the people who you love because you're afraid of hurting their feelings though you should do the opposite which is wise compassion you should criticize them and you should say what is the truth so when you're sitting at the table and eating dinner with your family you can brag about this psychological term 
for example. Did you know that there is something called vice compassion? Oh my god! The next section you should read this book, this kind of books. Okay. Okay, this book is a general book that everybody can read. But I'm not really suggesting that you immediately order this book after watching my review because it's not really essential. There are some essential books, for example, 21 Lessons for the 21st Century, Century, Century from Yuval Harari. This book is an essential book. But in my opinion, this book is not so you know, essential for your life. It is imperative to read this book if you are in these kind of situations. First, you have broken up lately, you have problems in your marriage, or you're afraid of dying, or you're a student of psychology. Naturally, it's talking about psychology. So students of psychology, buy this book. Code time. In this section, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I give you a code that's worth mentioning from the books that I'm reviewing. Okay, today's code is not actually a code, it is something that I understand from a psychological term which is familiar experiences. The thing is, you're attracted to people who have the same weaknesses as we have. This is why we hate unfamiliar experiences. I'm not gonna explain it to you, think it to yourself. Okay, at last we come to a verdict. This book was entertaining, it was down to earth, it was funny at times, but it wasn't that much funny, you know. It was trying hard to be funny, but it wasn't really. Or maybe my sense of humor has been desiccated over time. I don't know. Who knows? But it wasn't funny. I primarily bought this book. What? Bought this book because it was at the start of the coronavirus and stuff. I needed a book to help to control my emotional stuff. So I'm satisfied that this book, it was really helpful. It helped me to improve my emotional intelligence and to understand the reason of my every behavior. But all in all, I give this book 3.5 out of 5. It was not really my type of book and my rating is completely personal. So if you are some relatives to the author of the book, please spare me. It's all personal and take it serious. So if you think that your personality is similar like me, you might trust on my words. Okay, that's it. So that was it for today's show. I hope you like it. I hope it was helpful. If you like it, come on, next time. Give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe it. Also, hit the notification button because it's so important. It's really important. And I will see you in the next video. Today we have a brand new video name. Don't buy this. Don't buy before watching this. No, don't buy this before watching this. It's also gonna help 